today I wanted to do a different format and this is generally the format I use for a deep analysis of some situation. So uh, today we are looking at what is this connection all about. Now it could be a romantic connection, it could be a platonic connection, I leave it to you. Keep that in mind and please select from these three decks. I have three different decks here. Um, the first one is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart with the orange stone. You can choose it via deck or stone. I leave it to you. <clears throat> the second one is the t Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Okay. Uh, and it's got the red stone. So uh, this is the second option. And the third option is Tarot Mucha. Okay. And this is with the green stone. All right. So please uh, pause your videos and pick your uh, pile with the question in mind. What is this connection all about? Okay. And then we will start. We are going to be using the Celtic cross model today, okay? So let's start with pile 1. Okay, so pile 1 with the psychic tarot for the heart and the orange stone. Right, so let us see what is this connection all about by number one, okay? So first we're going to look at, you know, what are the current energies of this connection? <clears throat> Let's see. Financial and material changes. So with this card, I'm seeing that there might be a lot of emphasis right now on uh, changes and especially in the material realm um, I feel um, financially materially maybe job related uh, you know career related stuff finances we are seeing uh, the green orange um, purple and blue chakra so it's possible it's about green for prosperity orange for passion um, uh, you know the purple for spirituality and the blue for communication so there is like a lot of changes going on in this connection I sense um, you know and it's possibly because of uh, you know uh, something to do with the material realm like you know trying to find some sort of solidity right but there is a lot of flux going on here okay there is a lot of change going on in this connection at this point all right and it's possibly external uh, change. That's the current energy. Now, what is the blocking energy of this connection? Disruption. Yeah, it, this is the tower card of the tarot. So something has broken down and maybe that is the reason for the change. And this is the blocking card, which means that something has broken down, which is why... Uh, it's leading to the change or it's something like something has broken down and that is why uh, changes are happening all right um, there is some disruption in this connection it's possible that you guys are feeling uh, trapped you know uh, the the um, blocking energy is that of feeling trapped and unable uh, to come out and which is what probably is leading to all these different changes because something has broken down and um, You know, it's time to make a change because of that Okay 
Now, what's going on subconsciously or behind the scenes in this connection? Material and spiritual prosperity. Hmm. So I sense that something is broken down and, you know, behind the scenes, the reason for this is so that both of you could go towards your material and spiritual prosperity. Maybe something about this connection was kind of trapping you. Maybe something needed to change, which is why this disruption has happened. And uh, the, the, you know, the underlying reason um, which is behind the scenes uh, for the reason that this connection has broken down is because, you know, you need to get into your spiritual prosperity, material prosperity individually. So this is about independence. All right. It is about independence, which is the reason uh, this flux is going on in this connection. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing as something going on behind the scenes. I hope that it is fitting. Yeah. <clears throat> now what's going on on the surface? Let's see. Fertility. Okay. So what's going on in the surface? I feel is, is you guys feeling more abundant because, um, you know, maybe you're liberated you know from this maybe you needed that change to kind of become more independent to become more abundant more fertile uh, more uh, you know uh, more of a person with potential i i feel that your heart chakra is also healing and this is a very beautiful card so it's possible that healing has started in this connection after this disruption has happened all right so on the surface i feel you and your person are both healing all right um maybe this was needed this disruption this change was needed so that you both could independently heal or um you know come into your own so basically this is a very uh, abundant card it's like heart healing going on there's so much potential you know and you're seeing that potential i'm seeing um you know like uh, leaves coming out of this person's hair it's almost like roots of a tree growing so it's like it's almost like you know uh, the tree is now growing your independence your own inner self inner sense of self is growing uh, because um you know um because of this of whatever changes that are happening in this connection right i'm also sensing that this connection is also growing and that this disruption this change was very much needed for um you know this connection to go into some sort of material or spiritual prosperity there were changes needed and there were foundations which were not correct which is the reason why this disruption happened but this disruption that has happened has been a blessing for both of you i sense okay or for either one of you okay because it has led to some sort of positive growth in this connection all right now what was there in the past triumph this is victory so this is almost like the chariot card so yes there has been progress there have been victories in this connection you guys have um charged ahead you have overcome obstacles in the past um you know with this connection possibly there have been uh you know other disruptions um in the past but you sail through them and i sense that with this one also you guys are doing the same thing because you know i think both of you want to work this out which is the reason why i'm seeing this fertility card which is growth all right so yeah in the past you guys have conquered a lot of obstacles or or a couple of obstacles and come out winners there is a determination in this card that i'm seeing okay and an a willingness to overcome obstacles which you have all right now what is coming in uh, in the immediate future when it comes to this connection
yeah rest and rejuvenate right so you are going to be taking some time off maybe from each other or maybe uh you know taking time off together somewhere because i'm seeing these this forest here i'm seeing this person meditating and it's a number four so you're trying to get into stability after because there's so much up in the air everything is up in the air so i do feel that you know there is some rest time some rejuvenation meditation time out maybe apart from each other maybe with each other so i am seeing some sort of stability coming in and some sort of rest and rejuvenation coming in into this connection you know in the in the immediate future now how are you guys with respect to this connection crown chakra yeah both of you are incredibly connected on a, on a psychic intuitive level i sense and you know it's it's almost like you know that you know this connection is something that is um you know a uh, spiritual it's beyond which is the reason why you have uh, managed to cross all these obstacles and still come out with growth you know with learning in this connection so i feel that both of you feel uh, very connected to each other almost spiritually connected to each other okay uh so no matter what is going on no matter what changes are going on you guys feel connected at a soul level all right now what are the energies of people around you or what are the energies around you mental conflict yeah so this could be an energy um which is not a person it could be just an energy um or it could be people around you connected to the situation so i feel that you know there is some sort of mental conflict maybe because you know like you know because of all this disruption or changes that are going on it's a bit of a chaotic energy which is the reason why you need this rest and rejuvenation as well okay so it's like almost like you know one part of your brain um, you know is logic the other part is intuition and both of these are in conflict right now okay should i um go the way of intuition or should i go the way of uh, logic it's possible people around you who are linked to this situation are also in this conflict whether you should be in this connection or not if you have asked them for advice i think they are also conflicted so there is an energy of being conflicted you know about what to do now uh, when it comes to uh, your hopes and fears regarding this connection yeah i am seeing prosperity begins yeah you you guys want to work this out i am seeing two hands here okay and there is an acorn that is planted and there is a tree already growing i am seeing fruits being rained down so yeah you guys want this connection both of you want this connection you want it to grow you want a new start possibly because this is a number 1 card this is the ace of wands in a way all right so you want to give this another chance all right you want to give this uh, connection another chance you want it to grow you want it to bloom both of you want that and what is the outcome <laughs> spiritual union yeah this is a spiritual connection guys it's going to um this connection what what is this connection all about this is a spiritual connection it's never going to go you're always connected your crown chakra is con connected you keep coming back to each other there's so much growth you want to get back both of you want to get back and also you know spiritual connections trigger um you know each other to grow which is what is happening here right maybe there is a temporary uh, separation right now but there is going to be a coming back and this is a spiritual connection so what is this connection all about it's a spiritual union you know it is a union of the masculine and feminine um it is a union of opposites there is an eternity symbol here it is an eternal connection all right it is a connection where you are connected through your third eye and it, it's basically uh, you know maybe you are going through some temporary uh, upheavals okay but this connection um is is a spiritual one you can never be apart from each other you will always be connected somewhere <clears throat> okay so 
this is what I'm seeing. It's beautiful. And at the bottom of the card, I have bottom of the deck, I have choose wisely. So yeah, I mean, if you are in this conflict about, uh, you know, whether you should go for this connection or not, you know, they're saying choose wisely, okay, because this is a spiritual connection. And I'm seeing this card very much like this, um, you know, changes card over here. Like, I guess you guys are on a sort of crossroads right now where you have to decide whether you want to go for this connection or not. All right. And they're saying choose wisely. All right. Because I'm not going to read the next card because it's turned over. But still, you know, even if I were to read this card, it is almost like, you know, this this connection has got roots from past lives. You know, it's like a spiral. So you need to break some pattern by this choice or this decision that you have to make um, at this point. All right. They're saying choose wisely. Uh, maybe choose your words wisely. Maybe choose um, <clears throat> uh, to, to kind of, you know, a, sort of, a certain plan of action regarding this connection. But do it wisely. Take time out and rest. And you know like make the right choice because both of you want this bo both of you are connected this is a spiritual union okay so don't uh sort of take any hasty steps over here all right because um you know this is a spiritual union this is this is actually something that you cannot run away from all right no matter how much you trigger your each other no matter how many disruptions come in your life you are always constantly going to be connected and making each other grow okay because that's that's the whole reason and meaning uh, and purpose behind spiritual connections so if you guys are questioning whether, uh, you know, you guys are, if, if you are in separation and you're questioning, are we going to come back together? Yes, spiritual union, you will come back together. Okay, but after that happens, you need to choose wisely. It's also possible that the other person, you know, uh, according to their free will also needs to choose wisely. But mainly I'm saying this is a spiritual connection. And you are always going to be connected, no matter how far you run from this. And you need to have patience because that is at the you know top of the deck. You need to have patience with this connection. You cannot take, um, you know, hasty and unwise decisions just because things are not that great at this point. Okay, so this is what your connection is all about, guys. I sense you are. I mean, there could be n number of scenarios. Please fit them as you, you know, like. But right now, I feel it's a temporary, uh, you know, kind of breakdown or uh, temporary um, disruption in this connection because you both have to, um, you know, kind of work on your material and spiritual prosperity. It's almost like, you know, you need to do your shadow work. You need to um, kind of spiritually grow, which is happening, you know, which is actually happening here. Okay, so that both of you are in balance when you come together. Because if any of you, if either of you are out of balance with the other, the connection is not going to establish. Okay. So now I'm going to look at the oracle cards <clears throat> for this. Let's see. Yeah, storm warning. Yin and yang. <clears throat> patience. Wow, I cannot believe this. We just had patience. 
right <laughs> it's like yeah you know so this is a incredibly uh, connected connection it it might be you know one of those uh, soul connections is what i'm seeing for sure it's a soul connection this is the yin and yang which is masculine and fem feminine this is also spiritual union it's a card number 2 this is a card number 22 this is an incredibly connected connection all right this is a spiritual union and you know you are going through some sort of uh, upheaval in this but you are required to have patience so that this comes together all right so it will come together is what i'm seeing but this uh, the reason for uh, this upheaval that has happened in your connection is so that you guys can grow all right you can grow spiritually you can grow emotionally mentally okay and then uh, there is going to be a union so you cannot move away from this connection i mean i don't know i mean take it as it resonates but i feel with this connection you'll always be gravitating back towards each other no matter how um, <clears throat> you know how far apart you are okay you will always gravitate back to each other all right because this is a this is a spiritual union you cannot run away from this right but yes if they are not treating you well or you have not treated them well time apart will always happen so that you can uh, you know grow in your spiritual growth because this is primarily a spiritual connection <clears throat> wow guys <laughs> this was really cool love the energy here okay so we will now go to pile number 2 Okay, so pile number two. <clears throat> What is your connection all about? Let us see. This is pile number two with the red stone. Let's see. Okay so pile 2 let's see what your connection is all about these are the current energies of the connection let's see confront so yeah i feel in this connection you guys first of all are doing some sort of shadow work okay um there might be um uh, a lot of issues coming up from inter internally so that you can face your shadows and banish them so there's a lot of healing going on in this connection <clears throat> i also feel that you know both of you are kind of tapping into your intuition looking at your shadows and confronting uh the negative aspects of this connection okay at this time like you know uh, actually facing your fears about this connection you and them all right this could also indicate something like uh, you know mirror soul kind of a thing okay so it's almost like maybe both of you are you know like uh, mirror souls and you're kind of triggering each other uh, to confront what are uh, you know your fears your negative uh, beliefs negative patterns so yeah this is what is the current energy of this connection at this point <clears throat> Now let's see what is the blocking energy. <laughs> the blocking energy is move. I don't sense this as a blocking energy to be frank, okay? Um if it is 
if it is a blocking energy it's possible that you know this connection is so bonded okay it's so connected uh, your hearts are one okay your hearts are one and you know that is the reason you are being forced to confront the negative sides of your um, you know uh, of your psyche of your inner self all right um it is it's almost like you guys trigger each other there's so so much of mirroring going on over here that you kind of end up triggering each other okay um i also feel with the move card here that maybe things are slow right now okay you feel the connection but somewhere there is no movement all right that could be the blocking energy of this connection all right so it's possible that you know you guys are so connected that you trigger each other and you know it's it's never um a very peaceful journey all right um or um there is no movement in this connection despite having such connected energies to each other like both of you are on the same page when it comes to this connection i mean i'm once again seeing this as doubles right so there is some mirroring going on over here and i feel that um there is this is a number 7 card so i feel that there is something spiritual going on if there is a block here if there is no movement it's because of some sort of divine timing or something like that okay but there is a lot of love here lot of love now what's going on in the uh you know uh, behind the scenes in terms of this connection healing yeah so like i said you know you're facing your fears you're healing you know um it has started your heart healing must have started because i'm seeing the color green it's almost like you know you open the door both of you open the door uh here also i'm seeing a door right here is a door here is the curtains opening so it's almost like you guys kind of you know like make each other see uh what needs healing and actually heal um each other you know this connection is is a very healing connection i sense because this is a number 6 card so both of you behind the scenes are actually healing each other you know all those dark spots that you never uh imagined or conceived were there okay uh your partner is actually healing you from those things okay by probably showing you a mirror okay so this is what is happening behind the scenes on the surface let's see what's happening strengthening bonds yeah because of this healing you know your bonds are strengthening okay with each other i mean it's already a very strong connection i sense but it needs a bit of healing all right it needs a bit of shadow work so here i'm seeing that you know um this is you guys kind of strengthening your connections rooting your connection okay and and when i see all these trees it's almost like you know i see that you are almost looking at past lives okay and the healing is even being done at a past life level here okay you might not be aware of it but this love okay this love this big big love that you have okay um i sense uh, is kind of healing your past lives as well all right maybe uh you know all of this healing is needed so that you guys can come into union all right this so that there is some movement in this connection all right but on the surface of it because of the healing that you guys are uh, giving to each other okay you are strengthening not just yourself but this connection i mean it is i'm almost seeing this as all the past lives kind of combining and making sense because of this healing all right so you come out a very integrated person you know fully aware of um all the patterns that you had negative patterns you had followed in past lives and kind of integrating them and you know moving towards the light and the light is where the connection is at you know light is union and it's not just you doing it i sense it's them doing it as well you know because i see two sides here all right 
now um what hap what was the past of this connection blossom yeah so this connection is very powerful i sense you know because this is power it's almost like the magician card however although uh in the tarot it, it, in this deck it's the judgment card but it's almost like i am seeing this as power okay this connection in the past has been very intense very powerful full of growth all right it's almost like it's making a spiral here and you know you are holding that power because your love is so strong okay it generates some sort of power all right and i sense you know if this this is the judgment card so it's almost like it might have happened suddenly that you realized the power of this connection the power that that, that this love generates okay uh, there was a huge blossoming i think of this uh, relationship and it kind of grew really fast and it it looks kind of out of ordinary to me to be frank you know it's like this lady is kind of like you know uh, holding this power and manifesting so it's possible both of you have manifested each other and you know it you know came into each other's lives very suddenly <clears throat> there was a lot of power generated you both came into you or them came into your true authentic self you came into your power okay you came into your realization maybe even your spiritual awakening so there has been a lot that this connection has actually uh, achieved in the past okay now let us see what is coming up in the immediate future third eye chakra yeah you guys are going to be connecting through the third eye chakra in the future okay and this is also a card number 6 which means you're going to be connecting through love all right so it's possible that you might uh, see flashes of this person in the future in your mind's eye or you might telepathically connect with each other in the future so i am seeing like a channel uh, being made between you and them uh in the future and this connection becoming more spiritual you know this connection becoming more of a spiritual love uh in the future highly connected or all right both of you are going to be highly connected uh to each other in the future in the immediate future okay and possibly even uh you know realizing more of your spirituality through this connection okay Now how are both of you with relation to this connection helpless and hopeless yeah so i feel you know because of this shadow work and things not moving i feel that you know maybe both of you are in this energy of feeling hopeless when is the sun going to rise i'm all alone possibly you guys are in separation okay and there is this very desolate feeling that both of you are having you know maybe because of the separation so there is a feeling of helplessness hopelessness because you are facing your inner demons and there is really not very much you can do um you know at this point because you know it's all internal work right the bond is very strong however i am not i don't know why you would be in separation but i sense that for both of you this is a very strong and a very powerful bond very loving all right but there is a helplessness right now because of maybe because of separation and all the all this shadow work that you're doing now what are the energies around you guys sadness and isolation yeah i know so yeah i think you guys are not together and you know maybe people around you or maybe just the energies around you you know are kind of pulled down you know like you're missing each other you want to break free from the sadness okay but you know until and unless you don't face this you don't confront your shadow side you don't heal yourself you know you might be feeling this right you might not be able to break free until you do this work okay now <clears throat> what are the hopes and fears that you guys have heal i mean can you believe this seriously <laughs> um yeah i think both of you want to heal 
and you want to come out of these chains that are binding you you know because i feel that you know um the healing is what is kind of preventing both of you coming into union or from things uh, you know things moving uh, to another level all right or you guys kind of coming together so there is heart healing here there is there is heart healing mostly that i'm seeing although the colors are blue so there might be throat chakra healing as well that's happening but mainly with this card i'm seeing that you know both of you want to break free from these chains that have bound you they could be any kind of chains you know they could be family responsibilities they could be you know job or career related financial relationship related you just want to break free from these chains you know and just come to each other okay both of you want this i sense because it's a number 8 card right and what is the outcome well deserved reward wow i'm loving this i cannot believe the cards come up like this oh it's amazing yeah you guys are going to be rewarded for your efforts you know you're going to be whatever that reward is you know for you uh it is number 9 it is one year completion this is a person standing in their own light and fully healed all right and then the reward comes i i i feel you know because this person is standing on such a tall building here i feel you guys with your healing or whatever it is you guys are doing um within each other you know you would achieve some new heights in this connection all right so what is this connection all about it's a well deserved reward guys <laughs> because you've done so much healing and so much confrontation um you know uh, within yourself about um you know uh, about each other about yourself you know that this connection is in your life to sort of bring you some sort of a well deserved reward for all the hard work you've done it's a very strong connection it is a very bonded connection you know with the strengthening bonds the move and the well deserved reward it it's almost like the feeling i'm having is like both of you want to run to each other okay and and you know like get this reward that you so want <laughs> okay because i really don't sense here in in uh, this connection that any of you uh, you know don't want to come to each other there is no hesitancy to be with each other okay it's just that you know right now because of the healing because of the shadow work you are not together but you will get this well deserved reward because this is that kind of connection it is a connection earned through lifetimes okay through working through karma and it is something that is going to bring you joy and happiness and you know you are going to feel on top of the world when this connection actually rejoins together okay now at the bottom of the deck we have love <laughs> I mean can you believe this this is so beautiful okay this is a number 6 this is a number 9 yin and yang all right there is a lot of love here okay guys this is like a very bonded connection it's almost like the two of cups although this is the lovers card here this is the two this is a equal love all right this connection is a connection which is threaded which is kind of intertwined and it grows you know it's growing by the day there is equal love here in this connection okay there is no doubt about that and that's the bottom line of it and you and this connection is all about love basically it's all about love it is a well deserved reward it it is probably the highest love is what i'm seeing because this person is standing on the top of the tower it is one of the achievements that you have actually made through past lives you know to get this kind of love for yourself all right yeah and at the top of the deck i see rebuild there have been lots on lots and lots of you know uh tower moments in this connection um a lot of rebuilding that you guys have done with the shadow work okay and uh still this love remains okay so this is something which is it's it's divine okay it is it is something that you know is going to be a reward for you 
at the right time and it will come the reward will come this connection is a reward given to you by the divine <clears throat> let's get some oracle cards here Okay, let's see. Woman holding a coin. Man holding a heart. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, all right. Okay, interesting. <laughs> So I'm seeing that, you know, this is a very balanced connection. It is, it is also, it's a practical connection and it is also, uh, it's very tangible, all right, but it is also very heartfelt. So this is a very um, grounded love, okay. It is, it is something which is, you know, uh, not up in the air, okay. It is something that is very much grounded, you know, the love is very much grounded, all right. And I am seeing with the second uh, chakra, Archangel Ariel, second chakra is the sacral chakra. There is something to do here with the creative energies, all right? Um, so it's possible there is also a lot of attraction uh, between both of you. But in terms of, you know, uh, this spread with the oracle, I am sensing that, you know, um, this is a connection that creates, okay, that creates things because... Yeah, and brings them into manifestation because the love is so strong okay the love is like you know it's like a blended love and these blended energies okay are bringing a lot of abundance and creations you know uh, in you, your lives and maybe in the lives of people that you affect all right so i am seeing this connection as something which is very powerful okay something that creates something that is rooted you know um in love and on you know a tangible level all right with these two i also feel that you know one of you could be very practical the other one is very emotional but you guys are also connected via your sacral chakra okay so there's a lot of attraction here right but this is a very grounded connection tangible connection a heartfelt connection and something that creates wonders in this world okay or for yourself so wow it was just amazing energies i must say <laughs> So guys, let's go to pile number three. So pile number three is um, the green stone with tarot mucha. Okay, let's see. All right, so pile number three, what is this connection all about? <clears throat> um, let's see. 
what are the current energies of this connection Ooh, three of swords okay so there has been some heartbreak here okay either them or you there is some sadness there's heartache probably for some of you there it might be a third party situation causing problems but there is some um, energy of heartbreak here okay heartache heartbreak sadness something on those lines okay so this is the current energy now what is blocking this connection <clears throat> two of wands so uh, maybe travel is a problem <clears throat> maybe you cannot visit the person okay or uh, it's also possible that there are no future plans there's no set <clears throat> future plan of action here uh, which is which, which might be the reason for this heartbreak you know um it's it's almost an energy of like you know um maybe even both of you looking out to other prospects in the future you know and this is what is blocking uh, the connection or maybe um for some of you you might have to travel away from your person either they or you and this is causing the heartbreak okay so this is the blocking energy that there are no concrete future plans as of now all right now what is going on behind the scenes uh, underneath the surface nine of pentacles yeah so it's almost like you know the reason why this uh, heartbreak has happened is is to teach both of you independence so it's possible that uh, you guys became very codependent either they or you and uh, you know you were meant to learn uh, to actually um, you know be by yourself stand up on your own two feet okay uh, create a sense of independence and be happy uh, you know being by yourself and not make the connection uh, the center of your world all right okay so this is this is what is the reason this is the purpose behind whatever has happened because you are supposed to learn independence or they are or both are now what is the surface of the situation at this point high priestess yeah so this on the surface i think things are a bit hidden you know like maybe um you know there have been secrets kept with uh, you know from each other and maybe that is the reason for this heartache or it's also possible that um you know you peep, both of you are very intuitively and psychically linked to each other you know or or um you know there is just a feeling of the unknown here okay like there is there is not too much that can be seen at this point in this connection okay maybe you both are in this energy of kind of feeling as though you don't know everything or that you know something is being hidden from you with regards to this connection but it is also uh, you know something very spiritual something something um, you know which connects your souls in a way all right so it's possible that some of you are even going into spirituality after this heartbreak you know to to kind of figure out you know like why did it happen you know why so i sense that this is this is this connection is kind of you know bringing you towards exploring uh, your spirituality to understand why whatever happened happened okay now what was there in the past in this connection <clears throat> eight of pentacles yeah you both were very invested in this okay i am seeing a lot of work that you guys have put in possibly this was a connection uh, or this is a connection uh, which has been going on for quite a while you know maybe 8 years maybe more than that less than that you know but there has been a lot of work put in in this connection in the past right to make it work there's investment here emotional investment all right maybe even a uh, material investment now what's coming up uh, in the immediate future with regards to this connection 
queen of wands so i feel that you know in the immediate future i see that you know there is going to be some sort of passion coming back in okay um so yeah if you are in this heartbreak energy if things are not looking good there is some um passion uh, some sort of a revelation uh, some sort of a action something like that coming in okay uh, but it is still a little far off because i see this person kind of waiting all right so i do feel that you might need to wait a little bit you know before things are going to be revealed because here the things are hidden right so i feel that you know there there is some waiting time coming up before things are going to be revealed about this connection whatever the confusion is right now now how are you guys both of you with respect to this connection right the world so i feel that you know for some of you that you know you are done with this okay you are liberated you're feeling liberated because you know you didn't want to go through this heartbreak for some of you it could even be that you sort of walked away uh, from the situation and now you're looking for other opportunities and you're feeling free and liberated okay but mostly i'm seeing that you know <coughs> for for most of you um this is a feeling of wanting to be liberated from the pain that you're feeling you know from this this um, hidden situation you just want you know like a completion like answers i feel okay yeah some of you feel that it is over okay and that it it's like over and done with all right and some of you feel as though you know uh, you need answers so that you can feel liberated both of you all right now what are the energies of around you what are the energies around you yeah so energies around you are like kind of overwhelming i sense i don't know maybe there has been some communication which has caused this heartache or whatever it is okay there is a sense of being overwhelmed you know there might be over communication too much communication you know um so that's why you feeling overwhelmed maybe people this could also be energy of people around you you know um so it's possible that you know people are feeling uh, very overwhelmed about whatever has happened you know over here i am really seeing like um the feeling of being overwhelmed here whether it's other people or it's you or your partner or you know something like that now what are your hopes and fears regarding this connection seven of wands so i feel some of you want to stick with it some of you want to fight it out okay and sort of you know get this connection on track all right but some of you i feel are even resistant you know to making this connection work i i do feel very few number of people would be resisting it most of you i think your hope is to fight for this connection to fight for the revival of this connection all right now what is the outcome uh, you know of this three of cups yeah so there is going to be like a reconnection there is going to be um you know some sort of a celebration but in a sense i sense that what is this connection all about i feel it's more of a friendly connection so it's possible that you know one of you kind of got involved with this person with each other uh you know on a romantic level there is the other person did not have those kind of feelings they had platonic feelings and that's why you got you got your heart broken or vice versa you know it could have been them involved with you thinking romantic but it was platonic from your side and you know they got their heart broken but mostly uh this is a connection of friendship it's kind of like a platonic come casual uh sort of connection here and if you have been involved romantically then you know it might have been a kind of a, you know like not a very serious it might have been a casual connection you know 
so this this is what the connection is all about it it's it's going to be very good if you guys are simply on a casual level i sense okay uh, on a friendly level but in terms of romance i am not so sure if this is going to happen all right in terms of romance because this looks we are looking at what is this connection all about so this connection is more about friendship but let me see what is the bottom of the deck yeah two of swords i think one of you is not being able to see the truth of the situation you know like what is this connection all about you know maybe uh they or you are confused about the fact that is this something romantic is this something um you know uh platonic for some of you it could even be you know about a decision that you know should i make this romantic maybe it was romantic at one point okay uh but now you guys are kind of stuck trying to decide should you uh take this connection as a romantic one or should you just be friends with them or should you just quit altogether i do feel that you know there are some decisions that uh both of you need to take you know uh with regards to this connection but mostly i feel this connection is is quite light hearted and if you do uh you know want to sort of connect with this person then it most probably is going to end up in a very good friendship all right and yeah the top of the deck i have the fool so it's a new beginning so there will be a new beginning there will be a reconnection okay but i am not exactly seeing this as something romantic okay i am seeing this as something a bit casual friendly light you know that kind of stuff all right so now let us see um the oracle Okay. Patience. Yin and Yang. Storm warning. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to reshuffle because somehow I just feel like reshuffling. heart right we have two broken hearts here <clears throat> three of swords yeah envy the sun yeah okay all right hmm bottom of the deck angel of strength So yeah there has been some heartbreak here okay there is some heartbreak here there is probably some envy here maybe uh with the three of cups here there might even have been a third party situation that you or your person uh, are involved in or were involved in which caused the heartbreak okay and it's possible that's the reason that there is envy because you know you see the person um you know um uh you know being with someone else right third uh, this three of cups could be a third party situation so there might be envy if if your person is you know in a third party situation right uh but i sense you know with the sun here that there is going to be you know clarity all right there is going to be clarity coming in because here you were blocked off there is going to be clarity coming in about this connection very soon okay i am seeing only one person here so 
I cannot say that <clears throat> this is you coming together with this person, but I definitely feel that this could be if I pair it up with uh, three of cups and the sun, this is like a very joyful energy. You know, maybe you guys will end up being friends or something on those lines. We did have the fool card in the, um, you know, on the top of the deck. So I sense that there's going to be some happy times in this connection, okay? I strongly feel that this is going to work as a friend connection more than a romantic one. And one of you, either one of you kind of got involved too much, okay, uh, romantically and maybe got your heart broken. All right, but it is going to, um, you know, um, come into a more positive state, at least, at, you know, after some time. And after that, who knows, you know, what happens? Maybe it goes into a romantic, you know, situation once again. So, yeah, this is pretty much what I'm seeing, guys. So, <laughs> okay, please let me know um, how it resonated. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.